Good morning all. This is JLC PCB's Zuhai Manufacturing Plant. Some pretty big buildings there. Some cars parked along here. Now what are these? I thought they were tennis courts, but they're not. There's a sort of strange red square, off of which comes two sort of semicircles. That's a peculiar sport. What's that all about? Does anyone know? Um, and we've got some buildings in the background there. So I think I'll take this bit here and place it up there. So today I want to get my Pro Minty, which is a bit like the Pro Mini. It's a bit bigger. It's square. It's going to be green. But essentially it's got the same parts on it. Um, a 80 Mega 328p. Actually, I haven't bothered putting a regulator on the Pro Minty because I'm not intending to use the raw input. Uh, it's got a switch. But uh, let's go to Easy EDA and get that prepped and ready for production so that uh, when it comes back, we can take a look at it. And now an update on my microcontroller board with the 80 Mega uh, 328p. So this is kind of Pro Mini style. I had originally called it Pro Minty. I could actually call it Pro Minty because I'm going to get it made in green. And green is a minty colour, isn't it? So yeah, that's that's okay. Now someone suggested um, holes in the corners, so I've put those in. In fact, that was a pet hate. So <laughs> no more hating this board then because they're in. Someone suggested moving the uh, main decoupling capacitor a bit closer to the microcontroller. That's about as close as I can get it to the 5 volt line, which is this line highlighted there. Um, what else was suggested? Um, oh yes, the islands which I've dealt with. Let me turn off the board outline and um, take a look at the blue side. So there was an island here. Well I've put a couple of vias in where it coincides with ground on the red side. So that island is stitched. There's an island here on the top side, the red side, I've put a couple of vias in to stitch that to the ground plane on the blue side. So my islands are all stitched and grounded, which should be preferable. Okay, I think I'm ready now to go into the uh, bill of materials, the bomb, and start specifying parts in here. Now, um, I, need, I don't need any of these headers, so a lot of this isn't needed. Now this is interesting, the red LED, as pulled in from this thing up here, the EE lib, always picks a non-basic part LED. So uh, JLC PCB and Easy EDA, if you're watching, I think it'd be quite nice to have the default red LED in EE lib to be your basic part red LED rather than an extended part because it makes more sense to just pick basic parts than extended parts. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go through this changing it. The uh, 100 ends, it's the same process as before. So I'll do all that off camera. OK, so I think it's all done. I've picked the red LED, uh, the green LED, now the blue LED. I had to go back to my radio tower where I didn't know what the colour of that LED was and find the part number. Well, it's that one. It's the 0805. QBC. Oh, that's an 0805. That's interesting. That might not fit, but it might fit. <laughs> Let's have a look when uh, the Gerber is created. Yes, I really need an 0603 blue, don't I? Perhaps I'll have another look for that. Uh, 1K resistor, 10K resistor. The switch, which is this TS1187A CEB, which is this sort of octagonal shaped switch. Uh, the 80 Mega 328P-AU, which is in stock, and the Murata oscillator, the ceramic resonator, 16 megahertz. That's also specified. So that's pretty much it. I will have another look at this blue LED, though, because, yes, I remember now, that was an 0805. Do you know, I'm tempted to try an experiment here and just see whether they would be willing to put an 0805 LED on an 0603 footprint, just purely <laughs> for the entertainment value. So I'm going to leave that in there, knowing it's blue. 
and just see if they query it. I think I'm going to do that. So let's export the bomb because everything else is done. OK, that's good. And I will also close that and export the CPL file, or rather the pick and place file. Yeah, let's see what happens with that. It's intriguing. So I've got my bomb and CPL files. Let's now produce Gerber's. Uh, I suppose I ought to do a final DRC check. Oh, the other thing I should do is check my um, ground planes, make sure they're all OK. They should be. I don't think I've moved anything, but I think I'll just do that before I send this off for manufacture. So I'm going to go for the default settings, five pieces, 1.6 mil green, uh, hassle with lead, one ounce copper, order at JLC PCB. And here it is, and it's looking good. Uh, right, okay, so I'll just check all this. Two layers, 38 by 38, five. One design delivery format, single PCBs, that's right, 1.6 green, uh, silk screen, white. There are no other options, that's interesting. Hassle with lead, one ounce. I think that's all done. Need to switch on my SMT assembly now. So I want the top side assembled. Ah, we're back to, you can have two if you want, or you can have five. I wonder if that's down to the components you choose, whether you can have two assembled or five. Uh, I've got to the part where you review the parts you want fitted, and I don't need the headers here, so an inventory shortage there doesn't matter. But this is a problem, inventory shortage on the 16 megahertz ceramic resonator. That's a nuisance. Let's check their parts library. Well, this is interesting. I'm in the crystal resonators and there's no stock of this one, 16 megahertz, but that's 2016. I don't think I specified that. I've got a feeling I haven't checked that I've picked the right part here. I think I want this one, 16 megahertz, 322 something. So I'm pretty sure it was 3.2 millimeters long, but I need to go back and check it and probably rebuild the bomb file. So I shall do that. Right, I think I'm going to have to do a bit of a redesign on this because there are no 16 megahertz ceramic resonators in stock. So I think I'm going to redo this with a 16 megahertz uh, SMD crystal and load capacitors. I think I can fit that in that space if I move these tracks a little bit. So redesign required for that one, but I should be able to get my uh, chorizo sent away. So there we are. I've relayed out this uh, microcontroller board to use a crystal and two load capacitors here rather than the ceramic resonator, which are all out of stock. And I've managed to get this board and my chorizo board both uh, uploaded and into production. So they will be on their way at some point. Anyway, that's enough for today. So cheerio.